So you've been baking sourdough bread and pastries recently, and you've encountered a new problem. What am I supposed to do with all of this extra sourdough starter? Whether it's from days you're just maintaining your sourdough starter by feeding it, or maybe you had a big bake day planned and something happened where real life got in the way and you had to cancel your plans to bake and you're just left with a big jar of sourdough starter that's now past its peak. Well, have no fear. You don't have to throw it away. In this video, I'm going to quickly go over four things you can do with your sourdough discard that can allow you to reuse that. Let's go. Number one, the first thing I would recommend doing is creating a backup copy of your sourdough starter. You've worked really hard to get this up to speed and you invest a lot of time maintaining it. With other things in our life, like personal data or important files, we're backing those up. So you should do the same with your sourdough starter at least one time. And it's super easy to do. It's called dehydration and you don't even need any special tools for it. This, for example, is a 170-year-old sourdough starter that I have been using for a baking experiment on my YouTube channel. Well, I don't really want to maintain two sourdough starters at once. My other sourdough starter, Picard, just does just fine. So I'm going to dehydrate this one and put it in my pantry until I want to use it again. I don't want to throw it away. Um, so you can see in this video demo that's been on the screen that I'm simply just lining a baking sheet with parchment paper and getting it nice and thin on there. That's the key is nice and thin. You don't want it to be super thick or have a thick layer of sourdough starter on the parchment paper because it can take a lot longer to dry out. And once you have a thin layer, all you have to do is just leave that out for 24 to 48 hours until it completely dries through. Now, after about 24 to 48 hours, it's gonna get completely dried out on the baking sheet. And all you have to do is just fold over the baking sheet or you can go through with your hands and crumple it up and just put it in a container of your choice. Some people like to blend it or put it in a food processor to get it into a fine powder. And once you have it in your container of choice, that's going to last for about six months at room temperature on the shelf, or you can put it in your freezer indefinitely. And when you want to bring that back up to speed to hydrate it, all you have to do is just take a little amount, like 10 grams, put it in a, in a jar, and then add 20 grams of water and 20 grams of flour and stir that up. And you just repeat that for a couple of days and soon you're going to see it nice and bubbly and active like it was before. So this is a great way to use your sourdough discard to make a backup. Tip number two. So this one is my go-to and I use this all the time. All you have to do is freeze it. So I usually have a container that I just keep adding and adding sourdough discard to. And it can be any kind of container that's freezer friendly. I use a glass Tupperware. And in this video demo, all I'm doing is simply pouring my sourdough discard in there and placing it in the freezer. And when you want to use that again, all you have to do is take it out the night before and let it rest in your fridge. And by the morning time, it should be thawed out and ready to use. You might have to leave it at room temperature before you use it for about 30 to 45 minutes. And you might be thinking, well, what am I gonna use it for? Well, that's where we get into tip number three. Tip number three are sourdough discard recipes. These are amazing. You can make so many things with your sourdough discard, so many everyday things. And there's some sourdough discard recipes that require a whole lot of discard which is where having a jar, a big jar of it in your freezer can be handy, or maybe just a little bit that you can use on the spot from a jar that you have already thought out. Now, if that's something that interests you, 
check out my channel because I have a brand new sourdough discard series coming out of my favorite sourdough discard recipes. And tip number four is composting. So sourdough starter, as you know, is just simply flour and water, two very biodegradable things. And so instead of throwing it away, put it in a compost bin and make some soil out of it and use that in your home garden. As you can see in the demo, I have a small compost bin that I keep in my kitchen. I throw compostable foods in there. And then once that small bin gets filled up, I bring that out to our large bin in our yard. I hope that these four tips helped you come up with some ideas on how you can reuse your sourdough discard. If you're interested in some of those discard recipes I, I mentioned, stay tuned to my channel for a new series coming up on some of my favorite sourdough discard recipes. And if you do something with your sourdough discard, besides the four things I mentioned here, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you and so would the other people watching. Uh, sharing is caring. We love to learn from each other. So that'd be great. And of course, if you like this content, give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Happy baking, everyone. Thanks for watching.